We are following breaking news at 10. I'm Michael Wilson. A Van Buren man has been arrested for the murder of his wife. Cut out of Bush, who was lured, kidnapped and killed. Now, we do want to warn you that in 30 seconds, we will show you that video of the incident. The state, their shelves probably look like this. Neighbors tell me that they actually had to cut someone out of their $21,000 in department store gift cards, in addition to overpaying her own salary. Two people are dead and two more had to be airlifted after a wreck. There are new details about the documents found at the president's Delaware home. Taking the profits from this food truck and giving it to nonprofits like the Northwest Arkansas Food Bank. Look at my phone in hour and 55 minutes, nearly two hours at the shop. You can talk about anything from sports to current events, work, relationships, and soon your mental health. 4,900 jobs in 2023 to 6,400 jobs. People are asking what comes next for our Kansas. He is 1,667 miles away from Fort Smith and then 1,616 miles away from Fayetteville. Well, how soon are you looking to get a new provider in? For our bus service services and our truckers just now seeing this live. There's somebody with the fire here warming up because I mean it's cold for the Supreme Court today with some fearing how the decision might impact American democracy. I'm going to look like the Michelin man outside just bundled <laughs> the ice cold brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Tell me that it is 12 feet tall. Now I am a good five, six, six, five on a good day. Has the anchor ever said this to you? I hope you're wrong. <laughs> I guess I have to turn it over to you for the forecast, even though I honestly, I don't want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. We're here, Mary. Yeah. Mary Middleton and Cherie Miller. <laughs> We've known each other for 20 some years. Two out of the dozens protesting in Bentonville. And these young women, I applaud them. Not just those at the Bentonville protest, but those at the Fayetteville one as well. They've taken us back 50 years. They've taken away human rights, and it's not okay. Dozens gathered there Monday night. It's going to end safe abortions. It's going to end safe, safe, healthy choices. Back in Bentonville. Joy. It's insane. It's not right. Mary says she fought for Roe v. Wade nearly 50 years ago. I can't believe now that I'm here again protesting for something that has been historical for so many years. Now, with the decision up to the states, she's asking Arkansas to do more. And they have done nothing about a woman who's been raped, about a woman from incest. Asking why men don't have to bear the weight. You men, why not a vasectomy? They haven't dealt with any of the men's responsibility, only the women's rights. Aaron and Erica, the couple comes here to the Arkansas Arts Academy around four days a week to take refuge with their new community. Now that's the ballet community of Northwest Arkansas. Side, side, circle. For two months now. Be sure you stay on your legs. This has been Anastasia Rodina and Arno Tisabengoy's life. I'm 29 and I'm 28. 28? Yep. Oh, yeah. 20. Now living in Fayetteville. Uh, born in Kiev, Nastya nice born in Zaporizhia. Escaping from their home country of Ukraine. And many of our friends are died. As bombs and guns killed loved ones. Some of them uh, killed because of they was uh, they doing some humanitarian aid. A very different sound from what they hear now. While touring coast to coast in the U.S. for Swan Lake, they learned there was trouble back home. That uh, Putin start war in our country. He start bombing our houses, our land. So they moved to Fayetteville recently after some help from the Ozark Ballet Theater. Open second to the side. They're now teaching students and professionals. Yeah. Anastasia writing dance moves on paper. Arno translating them in English. This in addition to taking their own ballet classes. To stay here, to find a job, to continue dance, it's really important. So yeah, we enjoy that. We enjoy that. For 13 years, this was Kenny and Melissa Lipsmeyer's safe haven. You can see some of the blood that we left behind. Early Wednesday morning off South Thompson, their safe haven was destroyed. Oh my God. Incredible. We don't know how we lived. Uh, just to be alive is, we're very grateful. They were in bed when the tornado ripped through. Yeah, windows are just totally taken out. 
It only lasted a few seconds, but those seconds felt like an eternity. Even though we were covered, we were trying to get out of bed, but we were being held down by the wind, by what whatever furniture landed on us or whatever it was. They eventually went to get their injuries checked at a local clinic, but the power was out there as well. And Melissa needed stitches. I got him in the dark with his nurses holding their cell phones, flashlights. Kenny's saying it's now neighbors helping neighbors. The people come together. Neighbors do that. Family does it. First, like, 